Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Today I'll be explaining how to solve single variable expressions. And for starters, I've chosen some single variable expressions that can be solved by using only addition and subtraction. Later on, I'll do some more videos of solving single variable expressions by other means, but for now we're just going to start with the basics. So, we have this expression, x plus 5 equals 4, and our variable is x, and for starters, a good way to think about variables in single variable expressions is a variable can change, has a different value depending on what equation it's in. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this a little bit deeper. Now, this equal sign shouldn't be overlooked. It basically means that everything on this side has the exact same value as everything on that side. So that means that if we were to take away 2 from both sides, well, 4 minus 2 equals 2, that means that taking away 2 from this side should also give us the value of 2. So we're going to use that idea to solve this single variable expression. And by solving it, I mean we're going to figure out what value x has to be in order for this statement to be true. So let's take away 5 from both sides. So because we took the same amount from both sides, our answers should have the same value. And 4 take away 5 gives us a minus 1. 5 take away 5 gives us a 0. And we didn't add or take away any x's, so that stays the same. So x plus 0 gives us negative 1, or simply x equals negative 1. So that is our solution. This is the value that x has to be in order for this statement to be true. So let's check that that's the case. So we're going to put a negative 1 where the x was. So instead of x plus 5, we do minus 1 plus 5. And that should equal 4. Now because of the commutative property of addition, we can rewrite this as 5 minus 1 equals 4. And 5 minus 1 equals 4. And 4 is on the other side. So now we just have an expression that says 4 equals 4, and that's true. So that means that this is the correct solution to this expression. So let's go ahead and do a second example here. Let's do 2x minus 4 equals x plus 6. So now our goal is we want to have x equals some number. So let's just get the x's on this side. So in order to do that, we're going to add, in, add a 4 here. And if we add a 4 on one side, we have to add a 4 on the other side. So negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. And we didn't take or add any x's away. So this still becomes 2x plus 0. And a positive 6 plus a 4 gives us a 10. And we didn't add or take away any x's, so this is simply x. So we have 2x equals x plus 10. Now we want to get rid of this x on this side so that we just have x equals some number. So we can take away an x from this side. And if we do that, we have to take away an x from the other side. So we're taking away 1x. 1x minus an x gives us 0x's. And we didn't add or take away any numbers, so this is simply 10. And 2x's take away 1x gives us an x. And 0 times anything equals 0. So this is simply x equals 0 plus 10, or simply x equals 10. So that is our solution. So let's check to make sure this is the correct solution. We're going to put a 10 everywhere there was an x, and if we did it correctly, we should have a similar statement. We should have some number equals the same number. So let's try it. It doesn't have to be 4 equals 4. It'll probably be something else, but let's give it a try. So instead of x, we're going to do 2 times 10 because our x has a value of 10, and that's minus 4, and that should be equal to, instead of x, we're placing the 10 plus 6, 
and 2 times 10 gives us 20, and that's minus the 4, and 10 plus 6, it gives us 16, 20 minus 4 gives us 16, so once again we have a statement that is true, 16 equals 16. So because we got a true statement by plugging the 10 in where the x's were, that means that x equals 10 is the correct answer to this statement. So I'll be making some more videos later on in the future, uh, pretty soon actually, about how to solve single variable expressions where we use multiplication, division, and other means. But for now, this was a getting started video using addition and subtraction. So stay tuned for my other video tutorials, and if you've enjoyed this uh, video, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be making much more videos soon. And if there's anything you need to know about math that uh, you want me to cover that I haven't covered or want me to cover something in more detail, please just let me know. You can also watch all of my videos on learnmathtutorials.com. But anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.